Teaman 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, Teaman 978 Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Glass Smokescreen right here. He's awesome. Here is his box art. Yay! I got this off of TM Reviews. He pre-ordered. I didn't. And I'm happy I was able to get it from him. Thank you, TM Reviews. Check out his channel. He likes views. But, um, yeah. This guy is freaking awesome. It's like a little masterpiece. I was excited about the Hot Rod review I saw today for Transformers Studio Series. You do your own search for that. <laughs> Anywho, um, but this guy is pretty much on the same level to me. It's literally a mini masterpiece. I mean, they do make some sacrifices, like the emptiness back here, just like the dots and mold head or the prowl blue streak and smoke screen from Transformers Siege. But then he made other things look better to me, like this backpack, the way the legs work, the arm articulation. Now, technically, this is supposed to tab here. It's a suggestion. But being able to do this, which the previous mold couldn't do. Hold on. All right, here we go with Blue Streak. This one just had this articulation right there. Can't go up any higher than that. But being able to do this gives him way more range, like being able to reach over his chest. Like, you could do it a little bit with with this guy but it's way more dynamic with this trust me and the way the hips work this is a complete new mold it's not using any of this at all this mold right here the feet are different the legs are completely different these are more thick and blocky the way the hips work where the hips are or the crotch piece panel is a part of the articulation it's just not like a block in the center and then there's a bunch of gappy space right here the chest plate everything the arms everything is different so that's that's all the comparison i'm gonna do with that but let's get in on his face which is super cartoon accurate and here's another thing look how they cut out the back of his head and plus the panel that his head is on is at a slope so he can look up i love it so when you do get him into these poses bending his leg forward he can still look up autofocus turn on <laughs> there we go my only disappointing things as far as anything as far as the robot mood is the guns on his shoulders being blue i could have swore i saw some images where the guns were silver. In fact, here we go. The guns are black right there on the back of this package. But this is still blue. Hmm. You have to become a customizer with toys nowadays if you're buying anything retail, it seems like. Because, yeah. I want this to be silver and I want these to be silver. So, I need to invest in some silver spray paint. Get it over with. You see these on the shoulders. One cool thing is you can actually plug these into the gun over here. And yeah. And when I first started the video, you saw the Siege Blast effects on there. So yes, Siege Blast effects can still pour it on here. And you have to take that off to get this on there. So. Bow, 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 bow. But you'll see more of this in car mode. I'll go into it as far as the paint work. And any silver you see right here on the wheels, I did that myself. So I'm already becoming a customer, like I was saying. And you know, let's get into this articulation. Besides the head, the arms do that and go up to that point. Without moving this, the arm can still go out there. Rotate around. The wings can be here or shift to there. Bicep swivel. Elbows bend more than 90 degrees. That's another improvement. Wrist rotate. Awesome. Waist swivels. Leg kicks up more than 90 degrees. Swivel. Go out to the side. 
go back. Knee bends way more than 90 degrees because of transformation. The feet don't really go forward. I thought this is basically neutral. But they definitely go back. And I did think that this panel did look silly when I first saw the images. If it could hook down a little bit more. I mean, when you do this, it looks good. But I do wish that hooked down a little bit more to cover that space. And he does have this heel back here, which which is cool. So, yeah. This guy, friggin' awesome. I didn't show ankle pivot, but it's there. Transformation. Take these panels, move that, move that, click, or put the legs at in the same orientation, the feet, I mean. Click them together. Come on, you. And click this together. Now we can rotate that. Lift up on this blue panel right here. Bring that up. You can go ahead and rotate the head around. Push this panel into there. And now with this like this basically, or like that, we can lift his hips up, bend his knees, and put that into this orientation. And now we can basically squeeze that up to there and shut this. All right, now the arms. Bring them so that the wheels are on the top right there. Bring them into here and bring it down. Now there are these pegs here that should go into these doors. Good luck doing that. And at the same time, there's a little peg right here that goes behind this. So you could try as you might to peg it to the to the arm, but it basically, in my experience, just detaches almost immediately. But here he is in his car mode. Mm-hmm. Looks just like or more reminiscent of the Datsun mold or Maybe a, even a more up-to-date Nissan, but yeah. No paint back here, which is also disappointing. I might have to take some of that silver. I wish I had a more fine point silver marker so I can get at that better without painting every daggone thing. The lights aren't painted at all. This is what it looks like on the bottom. It's a lot of space down here. Uh, it would have been neat if they put some type of gun storage up under there but they didn't but anywho here's the only issue i'm encountering I, i've seen a bunch of reviews well not a bunch i think i've seen a couple of reviews and no nobody mentions it they just gloss over it this right here i mean you could push that down with with all your freaking might and it goes down but then it just comes right back up this, well, the first time I transformed it, it was in there like flush, but this was the only problem. But now this is popping up. So, yeah, I have to be honest with you that that is aggravating. I want everything to be solidly flush, but I can't do that. Anywho, you can store this there like that if you want. Or you can take these off and put them right there and now he's super armed up now back here with this guy being smoke screen and one of his special abilities is making smoke screens they didn't give him anything to port in there but these are stand port size old so yeah maybe that would have cost too much money but maybe we can do something different with this maybe a crazy decepticon is doing a flyby <sighs> Or something like that. You know what I mean. But well, anywho, you can only do this that I can tell with uh, Bandai Tomashi Stage X stand. Because their base is shaped like it's a 5mm peg, basically. Here's something more feasible. Maybe Laser Beak is harassing him. So, there you go with that. Last one, I swear, I swear. Maybe the Insecticons are bugging him. If you reverse it and make the 5mm peg right there and put the stand port up into kickback right here. 
these are Titans Returns, Generations, and Combiner Wars Insecticons. All right, let's end it with this comparison right here. This car is more sleek, more futuristic, more driving by itself type situation. They are roughly around the same length and width. And yeah, cool. You know what I didn't think about? These are from Blue Streak. Do these fit in there? Oh, 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 yes, they do. Yay. So, also this way. It's overlapping. It's going to have to be the other way. So, yeah. Nice car mode. Doesn't go back together well. Or doesn't come together well, I should say. But, yeah. Only issue I have with this in car mode, besides it not coming together, no paint back here, and the wheels were completely unpainted. But, yeah. Alright, bring this down. Swing that around. Bring these heels out. Mm -hmm. Rotate his head around. Gotta gotta push this in up there. Bring that down to here. Come on, you. I guess that slots. Come on. I do have trouble on this part. That's supposed to slot in there. Come on, ain't it? Maybe not. Shit. I'll put this in front of that. But anywho. Get the arms out of the way. That's my problem too. This needs to shove into that. Now these come down. Come around. I botched that up. But I ain't even editing it. Editing it. Now let's try out these cannons in the shoulders and see what these look like. You like that look right here? If you could see it, if you would focus. The peg sticks out too much. Let's try the other way where these go into here. Now it's jamming into his head, so. We can only do it this way. On the other, on Blue Streak, you could push it the other way, and these would be behind the head, and they wouldn't be sticking out to the side. But here's this look right here. So, if you got Blue Streak and you don't want the blue the little ones, then that's an option. Or maybe you can make them. Super armored up. Just cannibalize the blue streak all together. Make some type of super weapon. And since this has pegs on the side, you can also peg it into his forearm. And you can, if you didn't want him to hold it, he can store it on his back. This is what they show in the instructions. I don't like the way that looks, but yeah. Anywho, awesome robot. Car mode, mostly good. Transformation, simple. I shouldn't have even had to show you how to do it because I did it without instructions. I'm pretty sure you can figure it out too because it's easy. Anywho, thank you for watching this. Until next time, T-Man 978, out of here. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you should really click these videos, click, click the videos, click the f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you really should click those videos, click that shit.